Hello there and welcome to today's devotional and we'll be reading from Ephesians chapter 4 verses 1 and 2. So this is what it says, Ephesians 4, 1 and 2. Paul says, I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you and ask you to walk worthy of the calling with which you were called. Then in verse 2 it says, with all lowliness, gentleness, long-suffering, bearing with one another in love. Lowliness is about humility and gentleness with long-suffering, that's patience, bearing with one another in love. You know, when we think of a young infant, and as an infant grows into a child, there is so much of excitement when the child finally takes its first step, you know, his or her first step. Pictures are clicked, videos are uploaded because taking that first step is such a moment to celebrate. Walking is a sign of growth and in today's devotional video our theme is walking with gentleness. You know walking with gentleness. Uh, whenever I hear this word gentleness I'm reminded of a psalm written by David in Psalms 18 and this is what it says in Psalms 18, 32 to 35. It says, It is God who arms me with strength and makes my way perfect. Verse 33, He makes my feet like the feet of a deer and sets me on high places. 34, He teaches my hands to make war so that my arms can bend a bow of bronze. And in 35 it says, you have also given me the shield of salvation. Your right hand has held me up. And then it says, your gentleness has made me great. And it's beautiful. You know, you just think of these, psalm, this, these verses. It's talking about God who's arming him with strength. He's making his feet like the feet of a deer. He's teaching him, you know, in battle. Uh, he's given him the shield of salvation. But... Then it ends, that segment rather, ends with him saying, Your gentleness has made me great. And the psalmist is acknowledging that he is able to do all that he is doing because God's gentleness has made him great. You know, he is where he is today in life because God's gentleness has made him great. And similarly in our lives, the promotion, the blessing, the breakthrough that we have that we experience, it's because of the gentleness of the Lord. You know, here is a picture of Jesus in the Old Testament written by the prophet Isaiah. And this is what it says, it's prophecy about Jesus in Isaiah chapter 42 verse 3. It says, a brood reed he will not break and a smoking flax he will not quench. And I think this just speaks about the gentleness of Jesus. And haven't we all experienced the gentleness of the Lord in our lives? You know, we never deserve grace. We never deserved gentleness. But hey, aren't we so thankful for all that we have received? So how do we grow in gentleness? Well, the Bible tells us looking unto Jesus the author and the finisher of our faith. It is said that, you know, the more time we spend with someone, the more we become like that someone, the more we are influenced by that someone. And similarly, how do we grow in gentleness? The more we spend time with Jesus, the more we dwell in his presence, meditate on his word and commit our ways to the Lord. You know, that's how we will reveal the character of Christ to others. And sometimes, you know, we need to have those tough conversations with people. We, we may not want to have them, but sometimes we just need to have them. And at that point, you know, we remember Galatians chapter 6, verse 1. It says, You who are spiritual, restore such a one in a spirit of gentleness, considering yourself lest you also be tempted. So even in those tough conversations, uh, we address the situation, yes, but the Lord is encouraging us 
we go into that conversation with a spirit of gentleness. And as we dwell with, you know, dwell in the presence of God, uh, we reveal that character of, of God's gentleness to others. Uh, may we walk in His gentleness through the power of the Holy Spirit. Have a wonderful day ahead. Thank you for watching.